Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Connor. Here with my father, Kevin. You are here experiencing the uh, experiencing the moment, I guess I could say, yes. uh, of everybody kind of giving their opinions, uh, everybody talking about this uh, diss track that we're about to cover. Everyone's kind of going at Drake. This is interesting because uh, everybody involved in this this feud right now we like yes i know it's it's i love i love metro boomin i'm a huge fan of everything he's done yeah i like future future's great i love kendrick kendrick's one of my favorites yeah uh, the weekend phenomenal yeah performer artist all around everything and i like drake push-ups drop and give me 50 by drake let's do it Okay. You ready? I'm ready. I don't know what I'm in for, but I'm ready. Here we go. Uh, before we start, you do know the... We, I, we discussed this. I saw it on Twitter. You know what the drop and give me 50 means. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. talked about that. Uh, yeah. I'm sure all you guys know. Everybody uh, knows, right? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Nobody number one fan Your first number one I had to put it in your hand You pussies can't get booked Outside America for now I'm out in Tokyo Because I'm big in Japan You won't never take no chain Off of us How the fuck you big Stepping with a size seven man's on This the part with the bite Nigga what's up I know my picture on the wall When y'all cook up Hood huh, Your last one brick You really not on shit They make excuses for you Because they hate to see me lit Pull your contract Because we gotta see the split The way you doing splits Bitch your pants Hear how he said <laughs> the Swifties? Oh, that's great. Great bar. I think this is my funnest Drake I've heard. You gotta piss him off. Was that to Kendrick? Your midget ass. <laughs> This that is. fucking song y'all got did not start the beef with us. This shit being brewing in a pot now I'm heating up. I don't care what cold think that dot shit was weak as fuck. Champagne tripping, he is not fucking easing up. Nigga calling top to see a top want to piece it up. Nah, pussy, now you on your own when you speaking up. Oh, you gon' roll shit. to this is not fucking deep enough. Begging cops or not, boy, you not fucking beating us. Numbers wise, I'm out of here, you not fucking creeping up. This ain't even everything I know, don't wait to demon up. Drop That's a shot, eh? Fuck oh, niggas fuck. teaming up. Wow. That was that was intense. That might be <laughs> that might be the hardest Drake song I've heard that has like what I'd like to hear from Drake. In the future, like that type of energy. Not future, don't mention future. Yeah. <laughs> no. In the future, that type of energy. Wow. Yeah. You, you you gotta you gotta poke the Drake. Yeah, he was fucking just every bar. Uh, there was barely anything filler. There was a couple things where I thought I was like, okay, nothing too crazy, but most of it was yeah was some intense shots uh, going towards really everybody. He says that uh, it's a twenty v one. Yeah, which yeah. I feel like it kind of is. That's what it feels like. Um, the, okay, so we got Kendrick in here, right? 
Uh, that's the, the shoes. He, he mentions everybody in terms of like uh, in backstage, we're all friends, right? Yeah, you know, the yeah. Show and shit like that. Um, uh, the, the, the 50s is the 50% that Top Dog's taken, right? Yes, yeah. Off, off of Kendrick. So I've got, uh, um, I like the splits line. <laughs> <Did> your <laughs> pants just, rip. <laughs> I just, I'm just going to pull your contract. Pull your contract because you got, we got to see the split. The way you do in splits, bitch, your pants <laughs> might <to> rip. <laughs> So he's the, so I guess he has to do that for Top Dog is do the Interscope line. The Interscope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, yeah. Inter, you're in a, Interscope you're right in a, now. Yeah, Interscope. Wow. Yeah. That was really cool. Um the way he says Swifties, he's really really mocking. Yeah. Not the, the Swifties, Swi- but the, yeah, mate, rock, mocking Kendrick. Yeah. Got to do a verse for the Swifties. Yeah, yeah. That's that's just yeah. like the Drake sass. Exactly. If he would have said Did it he, hard. He said something about Maroon 5, right? I, yeah, I Maroon thought. 5 need a verse, you better make it witty. Then we drop a verse for the Swifties. <laughs> you know what I mean? Man. That this thing goes really hard. You ain't in the no big 3 scissor got you wiped down. Travis got you wiped down. Savage got you wiped down. I don't know if I I don't know if scissor's got or Travis, or or, or, or Travis, or, or Savage. Yeah, or, no, I gotta, I gotta say, I, 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 I enjoy what's going on. I enjoy the them going back and forth, right? Yeah, uh, it's like for it's like when I grew up, and I when I grew up, and boxing was fucking big, right? Yeah. We didn't have MMA or whatever. You had Thomas Hearns, and you had, you had all the big guys going at each other all the time, and it was fun. They had their talk, and yeah, they yeah. go in there and they fight each other and all that kind of stuff, right? Um, but you always knew who was actually at the top yeah of course yeah, yeah. You, you well, know was like i think in this instance like drake's saying that on a diss track i think most people are, are not going to say 21 savage is in the top three rappers of, of yeah. our generation like, yeah most yeah. people aren't going to agree with that but he's he's going to say that because it's a diss track yeah yeah um and scissors she doesn't rap right she raps but not not she's, she's not, not she yeah. wouldn't be in the top three conversations yeah, the only yeah. one that i think you can make an actual argument for would be travis yeah uh just because of his how big he is and, yeah yeah and you know everything he's done i think travis is up there i'm, I'm a huge travis fan i think he's up there with the, I, I, yeah i i wouldn't like if someone swapped somebody in the big three you know yeah, uh, yeah. for travis i i wouldn't really freak out yeah freak out. i gotta ask you this one here big difference between mike then and mike now so, uh, I thought it was Mike then and Mike now. Was no, it Mike. Oh, when first person shooter. Okay, the big difference between Mike then and Mike now. When first person shooter, with first person shooter, Drake tied Michael Jackson's record as the male solo artist with the most number ones on the Billboard Hot 100 chart. In the same song, Drake compares himself to Michael Jackson with the following lyrics. Uh, yeah, we don't. I can lyrics, read the lyrics. Yeah. In the in this line, he's drawing the same comparison, but points out that Michael Jackson back then was peaceful and did not diss or involve himself in beef. Uh, but the new Mike, or in this case Drake, is ready for war, and worth mentioning that Mike now could also refer to Mike Tyson. Mm-hmm. So the Mike now, yeah. So, so difference between Mike then and Mike now. I thought it was might. I thought he said might then and might now. But yeah. yeah, that might make sense too. Yeah. But I could see Kendrick responding solo. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. I could also see him doing like a collab like of somebody's album and him having a feature to respond. Yeah. I wouldn't like that as like I would prefer a solo Kendrick response. Yeah. I think that would be cooler. That would be, I'll tell you, it would be fire. But then what does Drake have to say? Because at the end he says he hasn't even... That's like half the. He doesn't even really go hard. I think. What does he say at the end? He's like, I didn't even. I, yeah, no. He's right here. Is uh, what does it say here? He said something about him not. Uh, this was just this the tip of the iceberg. The, basically, this, this ain't everything I know. Don't wake the demon up. Uh, no. I mean, this is a short video. We just want. This is like a moment that you kind of have to experience. I. It's you know what it's, it is. It's really cool because it's you know I heard it live. Yeah, on, on on the Metro album, right? Yeah, yeah, and then it was like, holy shit, yeah. right? And then it started to unfold, and yeah. then 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 I saw Cole ap- apologize and pull it down. He yeah. actually p- took it down off of Spotify, which which blew me away. I didn't think, I didn't, I think, didn't think he would do that. No, I don't think he would do that, right? So, uh, I I was out for coffee with my friends the other day, and they were like, "Oh, let's talk about this. Yeah, we got to talk about the." the drake diss and i was like we can't yeah i gotta i gotta listen to it with my dad first and they were like oh come on like we won't spoil that much and i'm like no no, i i can't yeah but like it's it's really cool because you know for me you know i i remember being in high school when when the drake and meek mill uh feud was going on 
and he dropped back to back and everybody was just talking about it. It was just a thing like, yeah. did you listen to it? You listen, Hey man, did you check out the new Drake thing? You're texting each other, <laughs> yeah. you know, talking to people, people are playing it. Um, same when, when the push a T Drake diss, uh, happened, Eminem kill shot. It's like, it's a thing where like, you know, you just experience it. it it's great to be there at the time. Yeah. And I feel like uh, it's kind of cool that this is your first time with a like a fresh, you know, one. Like everybody's talking about this. It, it's, yeah, I, you know what? I that's funny thing is like you're the only one I could talk about. If I went to mom and said, "Hey, you, you heard about the Drake this?" <laughs> yeah, I went to my buddies and we were all having beers. You heard about the Drake this? Yeah, what are you talking about? But you could you could go on Twitter and talk to people at least. I, you, I, yeah, you I could. Yeah, people I, follow you on there. Yeah. Let us know what you think is going to happen next. Uh, that's what I'm most curious about in the comments. Uh, you can leave comments about lyrics and, and all that stuff. I, I love to read them. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. I'm, I'm really curious on what you guys personally think is going to be uh, next. Like, is Kendrick going to respond? Is this going to just kind of fade away? Is this going to be the response and then nothing happens? Uh, let us know. Yeah. We'll be reading all the comments. Take care, guys. We'll see you soon. Much love. Okay. Peace.